uh, Mabel Deer, NGL. I love my country's uh, country's healthcare. I just can't understand how Americans are okay with how it works there. I mean, some don't, but still. Um, tell you the truth, I think a lot of Canadians right now would rather be in America in an American healthcare system. Uh, our Canadian healthcare, socialized healthcare, is completely collapsing. It's already collapsed, right? It's just certain sectors of society are getting hit harder sooner than the rest that will get hit hard, right? Like we have in our town, we have two elderly family in our city, right? That are staying with us that we're, my partner is watching over one, I'm watching over the other, making sure they're okay. They're both uh, paying out of pocket on a monthly basis for private healthcare for private doctors because the current healthcare has collapsed for them right they can't get care uh, there are people dying in emergency wards hospitals throughout British Columbia are closing emergency wards right like shutting them down right uh, so and they're closing ho uh, operating rooms in BC in BC I'll give you one example in BC this one I know for a fact because my partner is a nurse and she told me the data they've uh, hospital there's a neurosurgeon I think that works uh, with uh, the brain and the neck and stuff like this and in BC in my area certain types of surgeries and stuff they get their own days in the month they get a number of days in the month and there's emergencies and stuff too but you know these days are reserved you know if you're like this neurosurgeon or whatever he's doing he's like specializing in the brain neck and stuff like this he gets one day a month in in the hospital is working on one day a month to do his surgeries that he needs to do okay so one day a month pretty serious business right meanwhile 12 days a month are reserved for uh uh, reserved for people doctors that are doing uh, uh, sex change operations transgender operations and stuff so one day a month for neurosurgery brain neck stuff like this and 12 days at one of the hospitals 12 days a month they're doing sex changes uh, I, I don't know what to say about, about that uh, uh really so uh, that's taking away from people that require surgery right that's taking away time for people it doesn't have to be neurosurgery but 12 days a month there are a lot of people like you should see the backlog of people that are waiting for surgeries right it, it's crazy in canada it's crazy so that's my take on it.